To measure range of motion for shoulder horizontal adduction, the patient is seated on the mat, the arm is abducted to 90 degrees. This movement occurs in the horizontal plane around a vertical axis. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the humeral head. If you can just bring your arm down a little bit, it's a little easier to palpate the humeral head. Now I know right where that is. The stationary arm is placed over the shoulder in line with the cervical spine, and sometimes you have to bend the end up a little bit to avoid poking your patient in the neck. The moving arm is lined up with the lateral pecondyle right here. That's the starting position. The ending position is the patient adducts the arm, adducts the arm all the way over, and I have to repalpate for that humeral head, still right about there. Again, reline up your stationary arm, and the moving arm again is lined up with the lateral epicondyle.